Hi guys, welcome to Susie and Friends. Brand new friend here. This is Tamati. Hi Tamati. Hello. Now I've known Tamati for quite some time now since he was just a wee chappy and he's not so wee anymore. How old are you? 11. Yep, yeah, you're 11. And Tamati is, would you call yourself an inventor? Or a fix-it man? Or a combination of them both? Combination. Yep, great. Tamati does all kinds of cool things. Last time I was at his place, he was stripping back a table and varnishing it. <laughs> How did it come out? Good. Yep, awesome, awesome. He's doing all kinds of cool things. So, what would you like to show us? How to make a projector. How to make a projector. As in like a TV projector, a film projector. Yep. Awesome. What do you need for that? Uh, duct tape mm -hmm. or any tape. A magnifying glass. Yep. Scissors, a pen, yep. and a tablet, tablet, and two boxes. Boxes? Right here. Ouch. <laughs> OK, boxes for a projector. Wasn't expecting that. What do we need first? Uh, one box. One box, excellent. And a magnifying glass. Great, OK. And a pen. OK. So, first you the magnifying glass and draw around it. Tamati, do you have to be pretty accurate with it? Mm, no, not really. Not really? Oh, good. And I noticed that this box has been... Have you adjusted it? Because it's not quite glued the way mm. you'd expect the box to be. Nope. Oh, so it came like that? Yep. Yep. So it doesn't matter what kind of box you're using? Nope, not really. Great. And then you would cut around there. Mm -hmm. Now it's a bit tricky. We're asking you to hold the box so that everybody can see. So it makes it look a bit difficult, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, how about we turn the box? How many of these projectors have you made, Timothy? Quite a few. Yeah. And then so we'll get the work out the best position for your magnifying glass. So it's just gonna sit inside, does it? Mm-hmm. And then Ah, the duct tape. How many rolls of this have you gone through? Millions. <laughs> okay. Does it matter what size magnifying glass you use? Uh, well, if you're using a big one, um, it has to be very far away from the wall and the tablet. It okay. has to be far away from it. Sure, right. So if you can use a smaller magnifying glass, you can get closer to the wall. Uh -huh. But if you use a very small one, the picture's too small to see. Oh, OK. Right. So, so you want to sort of use a medium one. So just like the three bears, not too big, not too small, just the right size. <laughs> This is good tape to use, isn't it? It's quite stretchy. There we go. Excellent. And then... I'll look after this one for you. You would get um, another box mm -hmm. and cut off the tape. And then you would go to the corner This is quite a tricky thing to do. You're getting a workout there with your muscles. Well, oh, that came out nice and easily. Out. And this box, you'll get the other one. Mm -hmm. And you'll put it inside the other one. Like that. So it looks like that. Ah, so both ends are cut out of the box, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you would put the tablet in that, that end and you can adjust the focus. 
Oh, right, OK. Well, by pulling the box in right. or putting it in. Right, so with, often with other projectors, you've got a twist focus. Mm -hmm. This one's a pull focus. Yep. Nice, high five. Excellent. So we need to project it on the wall, right? Yep. Yep. We'll turn it this way because there's a wall I prepared earlier over there. <laughs> and um, what else do we need? Oh, the tablet. Yep. Where's this going to sit? In the back of it mm -hmm. here. And there could be a little bit of adjustment for how far away the box needs to be mm -hmm. from the wall. And yep. the picture has to be upside down to be able to put it through because the magnifying glass, um, the, it's the shape of it that fl and it flips it. So you've got your tablet or your iPad in, in locked mode. Yep. Yep, so you can play it, but you have it upside down. Right. Mm -hmm. That's really interesting that a magnifying glass will do that. The shape of the magnifying glass is going to turn the picture the right way up again. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, so what should we put on here? Maybe something from the Susie and Friends channel? Yep. Yep, okay. Which one do you think we should use? Maybe that one there. Okay. And you set it up here, and I'll turn off the lights because we need it in the dark, don't we? Otherwise yep. we're not going to see it against the wall. Mm -hmm. Yep. You ready? You put it into place? Great. Upside down. Wonderful. And I'll turn off the lights. Are we ready? We're going to be plunged into darkness here. Here we go. Oh, it is dark, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So we'll put it up on the wall. Let's just move that a little bit, get it into focus. So to focus it, we just move the inner box. Oh, good choice of video, too. Susie and Friends Elastics. Nice. Mm -hmm. ah, the lights are back. Oh, it's quite blinding. <laughs> you good? Mm -hmm. Right, well, how about you come and sit back up here? And that was awesome. Can it be a bit tricky to make it work, though? Yep. Yeah, it took a little bit of moving, didn't it? Mm -hmm. To work out the exact place. What colour wall is the best colour to project your image onto? White. White, yes. So our walls are a creamy colour. We've put up a piece of white paper to help that. What else do we need? What is another really good tip? It needs to be very dark. OK, so even at night time might be really handy? Yep. Yeah, because we had to put extra um, curtains up on top of our curtains to make the room dark enough. So doing it at night time too, your eyes are already adjusted, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yep. Great. If you want to subscribe and come back and see more cool clips from kids like Timothy and kids like you. Click on me, subscribe here, and we'll see you next week. See ya. Thanks, Timothy. For more information about Susie and Friends, visit susie.co.nz and join us next week for some more fun. See ya.